All right, guys, welcome back. We're going to be solving another question from the second chapter of the Merriam textbook, question 67. And we have this wrench that is used to tighten a square head bolt. And we know the force F applying on the wrench is 250 Newton. And we need to determine the magnitude of the force F that are equal forces applying on the four contact points on the 25 millimeter bolt head so that their external effect on the bolt is equivalent to that of the two 250 newton forces. We're going to assume that the forces are perpendicular to the flat of the bolt head. So basically, if we look at this bolt in here, we're going to have four different forces of F. And looking at this, we have these two forces that are applying on the wrench, which means it's going to turn the wrench in this direction. So the way the wrench turns is going to apply the force on the bolt or the square bolt the same way too. So we will have, if we look at the wrench as an observer from here, we can see that it turns as clockwise and our bolt in here is going to be in this direction in order to get that clockwise moment. So we have four different forces of F, which from the question we know are perpendicular to the flats of the bolt head. And what's going to happen in here is that the moment that is produced by these two 250 Newton forces is going to be the same as moment of these four F on the bolt. So let's figure out the, the moment that is produced by the 250 Newton forces. So basically we're going to have a couple from these two forces and a couple is a moment that produced by two different force that are equal. So we have 250 Newton forces that are equal. They are in the opposite direction and they are non-collinear. So the moment or the couple that is produced by these two is basically F times D. So the force is what we have as 250 Newton and the D is the distance between these two forces or what we have from here to here which is basically 350 millimeter plus 350 millimeters. So let's figure out the moment then. So the moment will be basically 250 times the distance is the 350 plus 350. There is no need to do the unit conversion because it will be canceled out later, but we can uh, also here divide this 700 by 1000 in order to get a meter, but we don't need to, as I said, it's going to be canceled out. So this moment is the moment of the wrench that has to be equal to the moment of, so this was for the wrench and we have the moment of both here. And at the end of the day, these two has to be equal. And if we look at, we have two different couples in here, these two and these two, again, two, we have two forces that are equal in the opposite direction and non-collinear. So we have the same thing, F times D, the formula is the same and we have, so as I said, we have two, we have this couple and this couple. So for the first one, we have F times, the distance would be the length of this square or the side of this square, which is 25 millimeter. And it will be the same for the other one too. So plus F times 25. And basically we have two times F times 25 is equal to 250 times 700. So this part is coming from here. And this is what we have in here. And from here we can find our F. The reason I said we don't need to do any unit conversion because if we do a thousand in here to get it in meter, we have to do the same thing in here. So we will be canceled out anyway. So there's no need to do the unit conversion. And if we calculate the F in here, we basically can cancel out 25 here with this one, which is going to get 10. So 7,000 divided by 2, 3,500 newton and that's what the question is asking and the final answer for this question so yeah i hope you guys find this one helpful let me know if you have any questions uh feel free to drop it in the comment we're covering three different textbooks in this channel feel free to check out the playlist um the questions are sorted by the chapter and the number of the problems and don't forget to subscribe to the channel like and comment it's going to help me to reach out to more students and you guys take care i'll see you in the next video have a good one mm -hmm.